basically this article covers the story of a person who has been left nameless for obvious like privacy reasons who suffered from a Brexit triggered psychosis. Now I'm gonna have to discipline you and you know how I feel about that. Yes, things have suddenly got even more weird. Sometimes politics can seem to be quite psychotic in and of itself. I would say that many people out there are having a break from reality, but that goes without saying. And I think it's quite interesting that you actually had this person flip their shit and have a psychotic break because of the referendum regarding the UK's membership of the European Union. Now, this person was a Remainer and they didn't like the result. They just wanted to get out of this place. They were ashamed to be British, etc. And basically, they are dealing with some major mental health problems. In many cases, these kinds of characteristics where they latch onto a subject is down to an underlying problem. So in that regard, you could say that there was a number of problems that this person was dealing with. And this was the final piece of straw on that particular camel's back. The man was suffering from major hallucinations, major problems where he believed that society was breaking down, things were getting rapidly worse, that there was in fact a huge shift in terms of how society operated, pushing to the point where he in fact became a person who had to be admitted to a psychiatric ward. According to his wife, what you might call the true trigger, or at least the deepening of his condition, was when he became obsessed about putting his thoughts out there, especially on social media. He became increasingly concerned about political events, became obsessed with arguing the subject, increasingly worried about racial incidents, and his sleep deteriorated hugely. Medical staff had to stop the man from trying to burrow through the floor of the actual ward. He was trying to dig his way out to, quote, get the hell out of this place, end quote. The depth of the psychosis, the paranoia involved, goes far deeper and almost certainly is related to previous problems he's had in his life. The man in his 40s believed that he was being spied on and that talks on the radio were directed to him specifically. The main doctor involved warned that political events can act as major psychological stressors and that many people can be affected in this kind of way. Similar stressors and delusions, but on a milder scale, at least in most cases, have been associated with both Brexit and the US presidential election of 2016, amongst other political events around the world. Interestingly, the man involved, he was agitated, confused, and thought in a disordered pattern. It auditory hallucinations, extreme paranoia. The man also reported that he had a series of other pressures, experiencing pressures with family, and other issues including work-related stress. The man was in fact diagnosed with an acute schizophrenia-like psychotic disorder. This basically means that as a person with schizophrenic traits, it took a series of stresses or triggers to in fact bring about this particular condition. But as it turns out, this may not have been triggered by Brexit as much as his underlying medical condition and the triggers which pushed him to the edge. Family stress, work stress, and political stress, which drove him towards obsessions, including political discussion, debate, argument, on social media. And it turns out that 13 years prior to his breakdown, he in fact had another breakdown into a psychotic episode. In that particular instance, it was related to work stress. Maybe this story goes to show us that there are many things that can trigger people, many things that can cause issues, and people should care about their mental health. Obsession isn't healthy, proper sleep is right, good diet, etc. These things are pretty much essential to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. But many people, through their obsession, their upset, their distraught nature due to many issues in their life, could be family related, friend related, work related, or related to politics or religion. These stresses can accumulate and cause major 
psychological problems, which in extreme cases can lead towards a kind of break from reality or psychosis. I've got to wonder, on a smaller scale, not as extreme, but with the same sort of triggers involved, how many people have fallen into, perhaps not psychosis, but certainly certain delusions about their political ideas. What the fuck is wrong with you?